In this video, we will solve torsion problems. The first one, we have a steel shaft diameter 8 millimeters and a length of 200 millimeters. Well, for the material of the shaft, the allowable shear stress is 60 megapascals. So, simple question, find the maximum torque which can be applied and find also the twist angle in degrees for this maximum load. The first, the numericals which are given. Second, these are my formula. This is the maximum shear stress formula. This is the moment of inertia formula. If you take this and put it in here, you will get tau max equals to this value. Now, take this formula and use it. What is known? We know that the tau allowable is given. We know the diameter. And the question is, find the maximum torque which can be applied. So if you organize this equation so that we can find the tau max and put the numerical values, the maximum allowable stress is 60 megapascals, diameter 8 millimeter. So you have a result 6.03 Newton meters is the torque you can apply to this shaft. Next, the angle of twist, torque, length, shear modulus, polar moment of inertia. And we remember that we got this formula in this previous slide and the formula for the polar moment of inertia is something like that. If you put these values into the equation, you will get a relationship like this. Using the numerical values, you will get the twist angle in radians. Well, in order to convert radians to degrees, you have to divide it by pi and multiply with 180, and you will get the result in degrees. Second bloom, we have a drilling unit and a shaft is used and the shaft's dimensions are given as here. Well, we have a tubular shaft, the external and internal dimension and radius values are given for the material, the modulus of the shear modulus is given and the torque is also known. The questions are, the shear stress at the outer and inner surfaces, angle of twist per unit length is asked. Very simple. First, calculate the polar moment of inertia, external, internal radius values, and this is your polar moment of inertia of this tubular shaft in millimeter to the four. We have everything for the outer surface, the torque, radius, moment of inertia, and you have a shear stress 30.1. For the inner surface, you can take instead of 75, 50 millimeters and calculate and find the new stress value, or you can do the following. We know that the stress distribution is linear. You know the stress at 75, which is 30.1. You can calculate this value by multiplying that 30.1 with the ratio R1 over R2, that is 50 
divided by 75 times 30.1 and you will get the shear stress value as 20.1. This is how the stress distribution will look like at 50, 20, at 75, 30. Twist per unit length. We know the formula torque times length, shear modulus, and moment of inertia. When we like to know the twist per unit length, divide both sides by L, and you will get a relation like this. Put the numerical values, and you will get the result in radians per meter or you can convert it into degrees per meters by multiplying with 160 and dividing by pi. We have a 30 millimeter shaft in this problem and the torques acting on the shafts are in this direction 300 plus 400 in the other direction 500 plus 200 so my shaft is in equilibrium we know that different torques are acting in different segments segment one and three so we have to find the segment where the torque is maximum so we need a torque diagram for this we know that we have to cut in these regions. So when you cut here, you obtain minus 300. When you cut here, plus 200. When you cut in region three, the torque is 400. So the maximum torque in the segment db has to be used to calculate the stresses all you have to do is take the torsion formula maximum torque radius and the polar moment of inertia and this is in newtons meter 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 to the four the result is in Newton per meter square, which is Pascals, and you have to convert it into megapascals. Last question, a power transmission motor is 85 ki uh, watts and the rotation speed is RPM, 150 RPM. The diameter is given, determine the maximum shear stress at the surface point A over here. Okay, so 150 RPM is, as we know, divide by 60, multiplied with 2 pi, and you will get your m omega in radians per second. This is what we have done. This is 5 pi radians per second this is my power next calculate the torque i know the power and the angular speed 85 divided by pi pi gives you the torque as 5.411 newton meter next maximum shear stress again very simple torque times Radius divided the polar moment of inertia. The maximum shear stress on the surface is 344. In this video, we have solved four simple torsion problems. Thank you for listening.